I sit just right, I have better lighting than if I move. <laughs> okay, maybe I found the potential solution to my lighting problems out in the living room. I'm in my bedroom. I'm in here because um, I don't like making videos in front of people. I mean, even though I'm broadcasting them to the universe, I just, I don't know, I just feel really weird. So I've like teetered my laptop on a bunch of clean laundry. <laughs> I'm also in the middle of doing laundry, so I'm in my pajamas. I know I'll, I look like really good. Um, but I usually do my videos on Saturday morning, and Saturday mornings just aren't working out for me anymore. So I'm going to have to find a new time to do it. And I think that doing it in my room actually will solve my problem. We tend to go to the gyms on Saturday morning, and I work out while she works out with her trainer. And then um, I shower and head off to my freelance client for Saturday afternoon. So. My mornings have changed, so I'm not sure when I'm going to do my videos, but um, probably Saturday night or Sunday night at the latest, because weekends work, work best for me. Once my week starts, it goes kind of crazy. <clears throat> so anyway, I have to watch the time. Although I did learn how to edit videos this week, I finally figured that out. Now I just got to figure out how to do the audio part, so I'm going to be calling my YouTube buddy Cross Pretends, who offered to walk me through it. So I'll probably harass her tomorrow and figure it out because I really want to be able to do nice videos. Some of them out there that you guys post are just envious. Okay, so now that I've babbled and I've completely lost track of time, hmm, um, so the number. So, you know, I'm trying to get down to 200 by the holidays and I don't know if it's going to be Christmas. It might have to be New Year's, but, um, Last week I was 228, and today I'm 225. So that's a three-pound weight loss. That's certainly an improvement over zero or one pound. So I'll take that three pounds and log in at 225 today, and we shall see. It'd be nice if I can get under 200 by Thanksgiving, because we still have, what, a week and a half to go? But we'll see. Um, at least I'm making progress, and I can actually say I'm exactly 75 pounds from goal weight. And 75 pounds seems like a drop in the bucket when you start out at 225 pounds to lose. And, you know, for years I've had to lose over 100 pounds to be where I want to be. So, so, and then of course it became over 200 pounds. But for a long time it's like, oh, you know, these poor women who have to lose 5 or 10 pounds, I, and I you know, have such sympathy for them because, of course, I would always think, yeah, 5 or 10 pounds, try over 100. So. So that's kind of cool, only 75 to go to go away. So, yeah. My goal weight is 150, and I'm 5'8". Um, so I forgot to talk about that my doctor had made some dietary changes, <coughs> excuse me, at our six-month follow-up appointment, and he said that we could incorporate uh, more fruits and vegetables into our diet, including raw vegetables. So we were excited about that. We're, we were big salad eaters pre-surgery, so it's nice to have permission to go and eat um, salad again. And I actually made some tonight for dinner, and, <laughs> you know, I used to make a bowl of salad. Now, you know, a bowl of salad, and then <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, but it was yummy to eat again, so that was kind of cool. Um, but he also said that we could probably give up protein shakes, and he'd like to see us move to just three regular meals a day and not use protein shakes anymore. And, you know, I don't want to be a cheerleader for not listening to our doctors, but I think I'm going to pass on that recommendation for now because I really, I need my protein shakes. They're kind of a security blanket for me, to tell you the truth. And when I drink a protein shake for breakfast, I just feel better. I was never a breakfast eater, although I could live on breakfast foods if that would keep me thin and healthy. I, You know, I could live on cereal and and uh, French toast and waffles and omelets and pancakes and oatmeal and and um, whatever. I mean, I love breakfast food. And if, if I could only eat that three times a day, I would love it. But of course, <laughs> we know that won't work. But um, anyway, so I was a breakfast food eater, but not a breakfast eater. And um, I feel like drinking a protein shake is a compromise between no breakfast and eating food. And on the weekends, I don't drink protein shakes. I do eat food for breakfast, um, but I just don't feel the same. I feel heavier. I, um, I just, 
just I, I like the light the lightness and the healthy way I feel when I drink a protein shake and I drink it on the way to work or I drink it on the way to the gym and of course I do have a really delicious protein drink which is non-fat milk sugar-free carnation instant breakfast and then um, two to four scoops of the Believe flavor-free um, whey protein powder which I order from bariatriceating.com. So my protein shake is like drinking chocolate milk. And so it's it's not a problem for me. And I do also like the Nectar um, Fuzzy Navel, which tastes kind of like Sunny Delight. And if I really want to splurge, I'll stick half a banana in there, and then it becomes sort of like the tropical version of Sunny Delight. So um, I have protein shakes that are actually enjoyable, as opposed to that... I mean, they try and make them really delicious, but they can be so sweet. I mean, I have a problem with sweetness sometimes. Um, but anyway, so uh, I, I think I have this permission to give up protein shakes when I'm ready, but I just don't feel ready. And so I think I'm just going to hold on to my protein shakes for a while. Plus, I love the fact that I get a big shot of protein at breakfast, and it takes the pressure off the rest of the day. I know I can hit my, you know, daily quota. Um, I've gotten a lot of responses to my addiction videos, and so thanks for all the positive feedback and encouragement. And hey, Bill says hello to all you 12 steppers or uh, former 12 steppers as I am. And I have gotten a lot of really personal messages um, this week, and you know, I, I appreciate the vote of confidence, and I will try to get back to everybody. and. I'll probably do a video because I've gotten a lot of the same questions over and over and I'm detecting a whole lot of stress over this upcoming holiday. Being around family, being alone with food, being alone with food that is really tempting. So um, I'll try and talk about that. Um, let's see, what else is going on this week? I, oh, you know, part of the reason I did my addiction videos is because my honeymoon period is definitely over. and. The rubber, you know, hits the road, and boy, when they say your cravings come back, you know, that has been very true for me the last couple of years. I'd say ever since Halloween, you know, ever since I didn't sit down and, you know, eat whatever I wanted on Halloween night, um, I've wanted to eat something sweet, and I'm not pursuing it, and um, I'm having a lot of conversations with myself, uh, you know, well, what would happen if you really gave yourself permission to eat that? I mean, is that going to get you what you want and do you think you're going to be kidding anyone and do you want to risk being sick and why are you wanting to eat something that you haven't cared about anyway and really um, I'm just under a lot of stress right now life is just really stressful um, you know I I'm dealing with a lot of medical and doctor bills and everybody wants their money now or they'll send me to collection and I'm trying to protect my credit um, from that and um, my daughter's been sick this week, and work is really, really stressful, and I'm just, life is unusually stressful right now, and I'm surprised that I just want to eat, and it's not that I want to binge, um, but even, even one candy bar, it's like, why, why, why can't I just say no and not have my head go, oh, come on. Like, it's not going to do anything for me. It's just food. And I don't want it to lead to a whole bag. I don't want to get back into binge eating and I don't or purging or anything. So I'm just surprised. I guess part of it is I can't have it. And I'm kind of a rebel and I hate being told no. And I hate being told I can't do something or I can't have something or I can't accomplish something. It just gets my gander up. And I'm like, well, who says? You know, who are you to tell me? And so it, it's kind of the rebel in me. I mean, I can't tell you the last time I ate, really, a whole bag of Halloween candy. Could I? Yeah. And yes, I have in the past, but it's been a really, really long time. But I did every once in a while, and now that once in a while is gone. And it's amazing to me um, how just the idea of, no, I, I want to, like, says who? So, um, you know, the important thing is that I don't act on it, and I deal with it, and I learn some other ways to deal with stress, right? So, um, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I guess I should be quiet because I'm going to run out of time. And I hope everybody has a good week. And remember to send us an email. I'll put up the link, the Northern California Meet and Greet. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.